pay attention. You're looking for capitals. Bexley Heath School in Kent. John Bailey has been exploring why Year 10 boys in the English department are not performing as well as girls. He's already suggested that an energetic starter will get lively boys to focus in lessons. Head of English, Laura Thompson, feels a lack of male role models could be significant. In her department of 14 teachers, only three are men. You know, often if a boy comes into the school and is only ever given this sort of uh, very uh, female, very feminised, you know, way of being educated, then it's very difficult for them to sort of to model what they do on somebody, you know? And do you feel that kind of resistance, like when you're in the classroom, do you feel that kind of resistance from the boys? Do you feel that they think... No, I don't. I'll be honest, I don't. I think that you can teach um, in a very um, straightforward, clear way, but, you know, that's not going to be the case for everybody, you know? So I think you can teach, you know, it's not an insurmountable problem. But obviously, if you've never seen a man reading a book, then perhaps you can never visualise that you could do that. If you have your heroes with you, excellent, take it out now. If you do not, don't panic. Glenn Bone is one of the three male teachers. He's analysing, with CD Borderline Year 10s, a novel, Heroes, about the way male and female relationships are affected by war. Thank you. Listen. Now, tens. Thank you. Joe, you were late in. Tell me something about effective speaking and listening techniques. What should we remember to do? What should we not do? Uh, speak loudly and always face the audience. Thank you. Right away, straight off the good one. Paul. Like, make sure you have the um, presentation prepared, otherwise you just let go on and you've like, got nothing there. Excellent. Prepare. Preparation. Good. What I'd like you to do is think of the three principal characters. I'd like you to think about the narrative structure as well. How is the book structured? That looks to me like the, 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 the face <laughs> of a confident man. You, you know, you're, not, you're not quaking in front of them, are you? No, no. Where, not does, where does that confidence come from? What did you do before? Before teaching? Yeah. Uh, I spent a number of years dealing with uh, problematic lorry drivers from South East London uh, and working what? for BT as a transport supervisor. So, okay. having okay. to deal with irate customers and irate drivers. Think about the chronological development of the novel. Take it all apart, put it into your head. Chronologically developing how the story goes through without the use of flashbacks. What's the first thing you're going to talk about? When you remember Nicole walking back into the class. Good. He sees Nicole for the first time in... That's the start of a quotation. First time in when? Hands up. Seventh grade. Seventh grade, thank <coughs> you very much. What Is there anything you're doing in there that's specifically boyish that's, that's going to hook them? Hmm. Nothing... Conscious, I don't think, on a general level. I sound quite common. I don't know if it comes across to... The... Common? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it comes across to the pupils in that way, but I suppose they would find it a little bit easier to engage with someone who spoke. And I don't know whether that helps them to engage. Do you do that for their benefit? No, I do it because it's uh, estuary English. <laughs> so that's, that's the way you speak? <laughs> pretty, pretty much, yeah, unfortunately. For this area... They are together, happy friends. This p pivotal moment here is where everything changes. What I want you to think about is what would happen if you got these three people in the room together after this event? What sort of things would they say to each other? Luke? Francis might have a go at Larry for raping her. Good. He knows. Yeah, what was going on in my mind at this stage? <clears throat> I thought um, he's been going about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been teacher-led. Mm. for quite a long time, but, but uh, and so what's holding them? And I, th I thought there were three things holding them. One was the drama of the story itself. Two is you're a pretty dramatic character. I mean, you're, you're relaxed, but you look at, look at the intensity um, on that okay. face. Yeah. Um, yeah, when you're teaching me, um, I don't spend too much time looking out the window because you're going to um, 
Uh, your whole demeanour suggests that what's being said here is powerful and interesting stuff. Instead of watching both Champions League matches tonight, read that. Right. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Larry, what do you know about Larry? He raped Nicole, I suppose. Right, so how is he going to feel? Did he have any thought of how it would affect Nicole? No, he just didn't. Right, so think about from your perspective. I'm Larry, what do you think? Get into that mean, uh, don't care, power, yeah, misogyny, hate women. What about you as a, a male role model? Do you think being, do you think being a, a male teacher yourself either allows you, does it help boys to think that it's not uncool uh, to understand a text or that there's something about the quality of your relationship with them? I don't know, I'm quite myself when I'm up there, so they seem to re relate to me well. They're, Happy to sit and chat to me, you know, one lad's into sailing and I know that another lad's into um, taekwondo. There's a girl at the back who's Thai kickboxing. I don't really want to annoy her. <laughs> um, so I'm happy to engage them in a bit of chat, but obviously there is a time and a place for, OK, Pip's gone, that's it, work. And they sit down and they get on and it's, it's nice. Get into an empathetic understanding. Make sure you know how they would feel. Give it to us in character, then. Arrogance. I can't do that. <laughs> uh, I was not bothered about raping Nicole. I wonder where the next sweet young thing will be. I think I'd do it again if I had a chance to. I'd do it to show my power. I've been planning a rape for a while now. That's what I've done. That's good, that's sinister. Thank you very much. I like the very... Just that matter of fact why I've been planning it for ages now. Thank you. What were the strong features that you would like to do even more of? But don't tell me what they are okay. right now, because uh, we're about to ask the experts. <sighs> what do you think of Mr. Bones' teaching style? He gets involved in the lesson. He like it's good because he like he t talks to you like he's your friend, and he like stops you being unconfident. He like. Makes you talk more. Okay, now he stops you feeling unconfident. Yeah. How does he do that? Uh, he like, he makes, he just like push, it, he urges you to do it, and it like, and you just do it. So, okay, so you feel more comfortable. Okay, thanks. What was the best part of that lesson? Probably when he got us in groups, and we had to do with Larry and Nicole and Francis. We had to do all, um, like what they felt, what you think they felt at the time when it was when it actually happened, so I think that was good. Yeah, OK. Just tell me, which bits of the lessons did you like? The bits where you could do what you wanted and stuff, where you, like, get in your own group. OK, you... so it's like when you're doing stuff? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Mm. Dead interesting. What were the things that you thought you would want to strengthen? I'd be more inclined now to put more emphasis on them in lessons and actually getting on with stuff themselves. If anything, yeah. um, I'd say have the courage to turn it up on the process. Where they're doing stuff, and the stuff can be everything from discussion with each other, mm. reading, writing, they're talking about it with each other, they're verbalising it, mm. they're trying different ways of, of working. This is a strong male teacher who relates well to boys. But head of teaching and learning, Rosie Fewer, is sceptical that gender's an issue. What I find the boys like is active involvement, active engagement. They like to... It's a difference between not allowing them to dominate and yet allowing them to participate. OK. One of the perceived answers is to do with gender role modelling in education, that therefore boys perhaps underachieve because there aren't enough men it makes no sense. What is much more important is the classroom dynamic, the different types of approaches that are taken with groups of children. It's an irrelevance if you're a male or a female. I think colour is irrelevant. I don't think any of those factors are actually an issue. When I was talking to Laura about it, uh, yeah. she said, when you think about it, mm. there will be boys here uh, who've come up through the primary system and the mm. secondary system. They've never seen a man reading a book. Exactly. But again, could we necessarily say, never seeing a man reading a book is going to impinge on the results. It's, I think it's too easy to assume it's about male role modelling as the answer to 
boys underachievement. I, I don't believe that's the issue at all. So, using your dramatic monologues from yesterday, excuse me, these as ideas for thoughts and emotions and feelings, I'd like you to try and put that into a meeting, a dramatic presentation of a meeting of these three people. Ten minutes now, massive brainstorming sessions. Think about what they can say. Get cracking. All right? The next day, Glenn builds more active learning into the lesson with group work, planning a dramatic scene from heroes. I'm doing Larry. I'm not talking for a while. Yeah, I'm doing the calls. Then everybody starts coming in the room. So just doing the brainstorm on what they think then? Yeah. Larry's going to come in. And then it's like silent for ages, and Larry just goes, I remember this place or something. He says, he says a really weird line. I like to show no remorse for it. Right, automatically, well, I've just taken some of those things that you just said, one word spits, right? Emotional to start with, right? Larry's entrance, that's a key moment. What's Great gonna happen tension. then? Hmm? Create tension. Dude. Create tension, absolutely. So that is how that's gonna involve the audience. That's gonna be part of your stagecraft, how you actually move around. So that's an excellent idea. But so when's Larry coming in? The room. The rate starts. I will put like the rate on. And then do it on a clean page. And then suddenly the door goes. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> Glenn's undoubtedly a good role model. But opinion in the school on the importance of gender in boys' performance remains divided. And in this lesson, the improvements in their learning seem to be more about the style of teaching than gender. And then Larry here, yeah, don't say nothing. He just looks at her. He's like, yeah, I enjoyed it. Right. Shh. Quickly, get yourselves into the place. Okay, cafe setting, normal day-to-day -day use. Okay. Shush. Hey, Francis, over here, mate. What do you want, you rapist? I want to say my side of the story from that night. We were all talking and Nicole went to put some music on. That's when I asked you to leave, right? Yeah. OK, so you left and Nicole and I were drinking and dancing and after a while she decided to go home but fell over. That's why she was crying. Yeah, OK, Larry, don't worry. We all believe you. What do you think happened that night, then? You raped her. That's what happened. So what have I did? I hate you. I'm really sorry. You can't change what happened. I know, it's great, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that it? Yeah. That was the full punch. <laughs> that was really good. I want to feed back on that tomorrow. You've set the standard. Thank you very much. Red hot performance, eh? Thank you I thought we responded quite well. And some of them just seem to, well, attack it with gusto. You've increased the process. Mm. Do, you think that do you think that privileges either gender? Uh, I wouldn't say privilege, no. I don't think it's at the behest of any of the others. If, you know, say boys, girls, girls, boys, anything like that. I think it certainly helps and probably aids both sets, really. All the groups seem to be um, involving boys and girls. Uh, pretty equally. I, mean, yeah, I wonder, the, I wonder the, if we're heading towards the conclusion that it's good teaching that does it, you know, that, 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 that there isn't such a thing as teaching for boys and teaching for girls. Next, John Bailey presents the English department with some surprising conclusions.